Hello, everyone. Um, and again, thank you so much for being able to join us today. Uh, before Heidi um, comes online with the rest of her rehab team uh, to discuss the use of the Indago within their facility, I first want to give you a brief introduction into some of the technology uh, that we have to offer for the geriatric population. But what, what we are, we're in Stanley here, we're a, a small rural facility. We have an 11 bed swing bed acute care center. Um, we have a 36 bed skilled nursing facility. We have an outpatient provider clinic consisting of PT, lab radiology, um, and then we also have providers upstairs that come in, specialty providers come in. Um, so between all of that, that's mainly our facility. Um, we also have a warm water aquatic center, a, a therapeutic pool. It's open to the community as well. Uh, we have um, an assisted living facility. And then we also have an independent senior living facility attached to our campus. So we take up a city block <laughs> in our one little facility, um, but it's kind of your one-stop shop for pretty much anything you want. Um, with that, we had quite a bit of a change in our management in the past year and a half, um, which kind of led us to getting this Andago. We had our CEO, we got a, a new CEO, she had big dreams, or she has big dreams. Um, and then we went from two physical therapists, one PT assistant, and a restorative aide down to just one physical therapist in the matter of a month. <laughs> so it was a it was a huge change um, and a lot of staffing things here in rural Stanley, North Dakota, it's hard to get people to come in you know, with those type of degrees and want to stay in rural Stanley. Um, so we had kind of an issue there. It was me pretty much bouncing between outpatient therapy, swing bed acute care, 36 bed nursing home. And then I also went into the schools once a week um, to hang out with the kiddos there. So it was a lot for one therapist. And unfortunately, the nursing home kind of got the back burner of my time because I had to see outpatients and acute care and swing bed and school-based therapy that was being billed. Whereas most of the stuff that we do in our nursing home, our residents mostly stay there that and they, they choose to call it their home. It's more of a living facility for them versus a rehab facility. Um, but we we do also do restorative cares. We do offer physical therapy there, and we have had residents that do choose to go home once they once they improve on their function. It looks like we're starting to get things loaded up again. Maybe not. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like Natalie's trying to make me the presenter here. Okay. Uh, although I don't have the slides, so I'm not sure. Here we go. Um, maybe in, in the meantime, you can talk a little bit about um, how you've been providing gate therapy for your residents before you had the opportunity to start using the Indago. Yeah, um, so um, before, when it was all four of us staffed here, the two PTs, PTA and the restorative aid, um, we had the ability to, with the manpower, to walk some of our more involved residents. Um, with one in particular, you're going to see the video later on um, of this resident. We essentially, at times, had to have four people walking with her um, until we finally decided that it was becoming too much work on us and one of us was going to get hurt or the resident was going to get hurt if we chose to keep walking. Um, we had two therapists on each side of her, um, one therapist working her leg, and then another person following us with a wheelchair. Um, so it was it was very involved. We were walking maybe you know 15 to 30 feet, and it was taking us 45 minutes to do that. We were taking lots of rest breaks because it was physically demanding on us as well as the resident. Um, 
And then we came along, um, I was started looking into, you know, when we lost everybody, um, and it was just me, the residents, we saw a huge decline in their function. And I knew the reason was because nobody was getting up there and walking them and moving them and exercising like we had been. So we saw a pretty quick decline, um, which kind of led me to start looking up different pieces of machinery that requires less manpower and can keep everybody mobile and functioning and not see such a huge decline. Um, I started looking into treadmill based, you know, gate machines, um, overhead gate machines, things like that. Um, and the treadmill, the only setback for us was we're a rural facility. We want to be able to use this in multiple different locations since we are one campus. Um, with a treadmill, pretty cumbersome to move around. Um, it pretty much have a designated area in our facility. Same with the overhead uh, gate systems. We have false ceilings in our facility. Um, I know there's reinforcement up there somewhere, but the overhead gate systems just weren't necessarily our forte. We'd have one hallway essentially that we could use it in. And what do we do with it in the time that we're not using it? It's just gonna kind of be in the way of CNAs and nurses providing cares for our residents. Um, I started coming across these overground machines. Um, there were a couple of different options that stood out to me um, and I happened to be flipping through, I can't remember which PT journal it was, um, but I flipped through and I saw the Endago and it looked amazing. You know, there was one person running it, one person in the machine. Um, so I did a little research on it and it was everything that I was looking for. It checked all the boxes. Um, you could use it with just one person. Um, it was, a, you know, mostly mechanical to where, or it's completely mechanical to where the machine will do all the work. All you have to do is help set somebody up in it. Um, it was versatile throughout our entire facility. It fit through standard doors. Um, you know, there wasn't a lot of, um, construction that needed to be done. You know, when we got it actually at our facility, it rolled out of the box and we put the handles on it. There was battery charge on it. So we were able to use it within minutes of taking it out of the box.